Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about the Next.js API routes timeout and how you can handle it and increase that timeout. So and I had an issue with my app to create an images with the DALI 3 API. So basically me and my friends, we did a blog and we wanted to generate images for the thumbnails. So I've decided to quickly create such an app. I spent like two hours doing it. Not a lot of time. As you can see, it's not looking like it. I've spent much more time on it. So yeah, and I've decided to use Next.js API routes for it. And everything was fine. I tested it. I pushed it to the repo. I, you know, checked it worked on the local host, but then when the API route actually worked on the serverless function, and uh, I got an error about the 10 seconds timeout. And like, it's not, uh, I shouldn't be surprised because generating, generating these images usually takes about 15 seconds even. So yeah, uh, uh, like there was an issue and I can actually show you uh, like uh, here you have to paste and password for it to work and we'll generate an image an extreme close-up of hourglass yeah generate an image and we'll be looking for the yeah over here and I'll show you how it works maybe I'll do it a little bit bigger for you guys yep great yeah uh, so as you can see here it's basically the slash image uh, with the post request but if we go back here and see how long it took for it it was like 15 seconds it's more than 10 seconds so before it would deal at me give an error and actually wasted my tokens on api uh, dali endpoints because like i generated an image but the response wasn't given to me so how you can do it how we can increase that so first option probably not what interests you but you can increase the max duration of your api route which is on the node.js runtime by having like a pro versal plan but you probably don't want to pay 20 bucks a month or something like that it's like not probably something that interests you so what other uh, what other things you can do? You can like move out from the Next.js based like backend. Of course, it's probably again not the thing you're looking for because if you to, don't like to use it, you probably just use something else. But you're just using this backend. So, the actually uh, there are some uh, there are something you can do, but it will not like fix every use case. So basically, what I am saying, what and what I've done here is I've changed the runtime of my API route. So by default, if we look over here, I guess, yeah, it's a rook segment config. And as you can see here, runtime, you can choose in either Node.js or Edge. And by default, it's Node.js. For Node.js, the timeout is 10 seconds, but for the Edge, it's 30 seconds. So in my case, it helped. Like I can go to the code and show you how easy it was done. So it's like the, I can show you the structure. Uh, let me just find these tools. It's like, um, yeah, app, image, root. And if we come here, it's like my tokens, everything, generating this image. And at the end, it's export, const, runtime, edge. And it just fix it for me. But what's important, if it would take more than 30 seconds, again, it will not work for you. So as you can see here, if you're struggling, for example, with the DALI 3 API, you can use it. But if you like to do some really heavy things, you either want to use uh, the Versal Pro plan or use something like WebSockets. But actually, if you would like to use WebSockets, you probably still need to use uh, another backend which is not serverless so maybe there are some things like you can store it in the database and uh, like ask for it in interval so you'd like not return a response here 
but just ask for it every five seconds from the front end side and when it, you receive it like you stop asking for it it's like yeah it's, it's some approach but it's not the best probably so i found it working for me and i guess it can work for you so you can try it out and uh, yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one bye